I'm going to go into a little more detail about the actual fingering of the diatonic scale, the major scale. If we number the fingers, one, two, three, four, and we put them across the guitar like that. The reason we start on the second finger for our major scale is because when we run out of fingers, we want one to be in the right place. So if I go two, see that I've used one finger per fret and I always use the same finger on the same fret. So to play that scale in terms of its fingering, I need to go and that's how it would look if it was written out in tabs in the first position. Because this is such a repetitive pattern, once you get once you get it into muscle memory, you can basically move it anywhere you like by just pointing that finger at a fret and then it happens. And because you're using the numbers, you can take any lick that you express in numbers and to transpose it to another key, you simply point the middle finger at the root of the new key and run the numbers and out it comes. So this gives you the ability to, to basically transpose any run on the guitar, any any run that you can express in numbers like one, three, five, six, one, three, five, six, one, one, three, four, six, one, three, five, six, one, three, five, six, it's the same fingering, it just starts in a different place. So the method for transposing licks is simply to take the lick, identify the underlying scale, let's say it's A. One, two, three, four, five, then transform the lick into a fingering. And once you have that fingering, you can move that fingering anywhere. just trans transpose that that bass run from A up to B. If I moved it to here, it would be C.